Hello, thank you for joining me on this vigil scavenger hunt. I'll be walking through Western Michigan University's Valley Dining Center and their supply chain management and the key concepts in action there. This is a presentation produced by Ahmad Alabadan, Tristan Bloomer, Jessica Hamill, and Mitchell Hamill. Here are some photos that we took along our scavenger hunt showing some of the key concepts in action. Here are those said key concepts. So, we'll start off with supplier and customer relations. These are two of the eight key factors in supply chain management. Starting off, supplier relations. VDC maintains relationships with distributors. This allows for easy establishments of routes to new facilities. A willingness to work with demand changes, improved response times, prevent stockouts, and increase in satisfied customers are some of the things that you'll see in practice supplier relations. Uh, customer relations is our next topic. Uh, BDC listens to students and faculty. This improves customers' relations and quality of experience. BDC helps to make the experience for the customer what they want and not leave the supplier guessing. Example of supplier relations. Example of the supplier relation that the Western Michigan University Valley Dining Center has is the Aunt Millie's delivery that happens almost every morning to ensure that all the products that the VDC produce are fresh and fully stocked. To prevent a stock out, the VDC management will simply call and order more of whatever product needs to be delivered. A simple example is the buns for making hot dogs and hamburgers. Because it's not a hot dog or a hamburger without the bun. Our next topic is customer service. This is defined as the assistance and advice provided by a company to those people who buy or use its products or services. VDC has a contact point for customer service with any of the employees and online through their webpage. VDC has a suggestion box that is always left open for management to look at and make changes. One of the most recent changes coming from the suggestion box was having hard-boiled eggs in the breakfast area for people to eat. Next, we'll be moving on to supply chain cost reduction. This is defined as anywhere within the supply chain where the customer or supplier can reduce cost of asset transportation or production to increase profitability. VDC supply chain cost reduction has utilized cost reduction strategies to streamline their costs. They have a will call standard with suppliers like Aunt Millie's that allows for additional inventory. They reduce costs with the understanding of what foods are in demand and offering those items. These are other strategies, these and other strategies help them continue to be profitable and reduce waste or unnecessary spending. Why is this important? This offers new and more efficient ways of delivery, which in turn decrease cost. In decreasing cost, the supplier become better equipped to understand the supply chain and best way to benefit the firm and customers, therefore continually reducing cost and improving savings. Now, we'll end supply chain performance. This is defined as the extended supply chain activities and meeting end customer requirements, including product availability, on-time delivery, and all the necessary inventory and capacity in the supply chain to deliver that performance in a responsive manner. This is important because if not done properly, then costs increase and even stockouts can happen, which is more demand than available product done properly leads to increase in profit and efficiencies. Increase in customer and supplier relationships, allowing for both to grow and increase relationship. Stock up is our next topic. Out of stock. When a product is not available for a customer, it is a stock out inventory item. This can happen for several reasons. Inefficiency in restocking, problems with the supply chain, 
and problems with demand forecasting are some reasons. Businesses can be negatively affected by stock out as consumers' expectations are not met. I always hate it when they run out of cookies. Postponement. This is waiting to produce the product until the last possible moment or made to order. This minimizes risk and investment. You hold off as long as possible and a clear idea of demand is known. VDC uses this in holding to produce products that will be used and replenishing on demand as needed. Changes per daily sales hours. Order management. Order management is the administration of business steps to the fulfillment of orders. It tracks these from across the channels for the life cycle of the order. VDC uses order management systems to track inventory and sales and allows for forecasting. The need for inventory orders with suppliers, this allows for profitability in the end. VDC also has order management within its operations with customers. There are a total of nine different venues, all but few have made to order options. One area is self serve only. You need to serve things like cereal, toast, bagels, waffles, and juice. Moving on to demand management. Demand management in terms of supply chain deals with the understanding with understanding the customer and working with forecasting to optimize the handling of inventory in all the stages for maximum profitability. BDC they use postponing orders, predicting demand changes, making orders ahead of time, or ordering more to pair, pair for an increase in demand or ordering less when low demand is frequent. Next, we'll be moving on to build to order and build a stock. B2O, build to order, when an order is received, then the order is processed and produce BTS built to stock is when an order is sent out there is space left over BTS is when the stock is maintained at a specific level and refilled to the to that point when orders are shipped out this is also part of safety stock to avoid stock out VDC uses both BTS and BTO these are a few examples every order made is built to the order the customer and what they want helps with demand regularity allows for use of other products if necessary and avoid stock out now moving on to supply chain flexibility supply chain flexibility is the ability to increase or decrease the production of goods based on customer demand supply chain flexibility is important because it helps prevent out of stock while also preventing overstock. Moving on, accurate and inaccurate forecasting. In order to forecast the demand for each product accurately of what would be needed, the dining center takes account of all the times meals are eaten. When someone swipes a card, the number of people per dining service is lost. Employees who work at the cafeteria also tally how much inventory they started with and ended with to show how much food was used and if any was not and had to be thrown away. The more accurate, the better. Now, moving on to reverse logistics, which is part of returns management. While reverse logistics mostly entails returns and the product that was produced being delivered in the opposite direction it was intended, the VDC does not has to deal with returns at is a buffet, as it is a buffet, and the idea is that the customer has enough options to choose something that is to their liking. And, you know, who wouldn't love a good banana, orange, and cookie? <laughs> Supply chain relationships. Not only BDC, but all of the cafeterias on WMU's campus have great relationships with the suppliers. Relationships are key to business success. They are built on key factors like any relationship, like good communications, 
developed trust and working for mutuality. BDC establishes solid relationships with its consumers and this build and enhances the relationships with suppliers. Beyond material handling equipment, materially Material handling equipment are items that store and manage product as it is in process of inventory to get to finished goods for the consumer. VDC returns milk cartons so that they can be used to carry assets once used. All the food is otherwise used, stored, or thrown away due to the health code. Moving on to seasonal inventory. Some inventory is consistent and stable throughout the year. Other items may fluctuate with demand or availability depending on the season. A company may operate differently with supply depending on the seasons as well. BDC's main season increases during the fall and spring semesters and BDC's off season decrease uh, summer one and two semesters. VDC also uses seasonal inventory like the use of fresh in-season fruits or veggies, holiday cookies at the holidays, and similar limited items. My favorite is always pumpkin spice around uh, Thanksgiving time and Halloween. Uh, three types of inventory. We have raw material, work in progress, and finished goods. In inventory is an asset. The pace at which companies can convert Inventory to asset is important because it directly impacts the money that they are making. Start off with raw material inventory. These are materials that are on hand that have not yet entered the production process. It is in its simplest form. It is recorded as soon as it is acquired in the inventory of the company. BDC uses a variety of sources to get raw materials that will be entered into work in progress inventory to final product stages to reach the end customer. End consumer. <laughs> Examples include raw meat, vegetables, fruits, and similar products. WIP inventory or work in progress inventory is materials that are in the process of completion to be ready for sale to the consumer. It is any materials that are in between the raw material state and the finished product, ready for consumption state of production. In addition to the raw materials, WIP inventory considers the labor and overhead costs associated with producing the product. It is important for businesses to understand the cost of the WIP inventory to help them optimize the inventory that is in various stages of completion. Finished good inventory. Uh, finished good inventory is the amount of finished product in stock available for consumers to purchase. Finished good inventory equals cost of goods manufactured minus cost of goods sold plus value of the previous goods manufactured still in inventory. Finished goods inventory is important because it helps business owners optimize inventory management, reduce waste, and increase profitability by understanding their inventory value and recording it as an asset. VDC has examples of finished good inventory food, finished good inventory, and that is food that is ready for the client to purchase and consume. MRO inventory, or maintenance, repair, and operations inventory. Uh, these are items in the inventory that will be used in production, operations, and to keep things running and are not seen in the end product. For VDC, this includes things like from cleaning supplies, pots, pans, grills, heat lamps, numerous items that are used to operate uh, to produce the buffet style meals provided to the clients. Okay. Thank you for listening to this presentation. I'd like to thank our teacher, uh, Dr. Zach Williams, uh, for all his lectures and the uh, Management 2100 Intro to Supply Chain Management class. Thank you and goodbye.